So please welcome this week's special guest, Vil. <laughs> So, Stephen, what is Vil to you? Um, this is Vil. He is um, the teacher that unexpelled me because I was making the school lots of money. Right. <laughs> Josie, how do you know Vil? Um, this is Vil, and I know Vil because when I knocked on the wrong front door, live on this morning, he opened the door in his wife's nightie. <laughs> right. And finally, Lee, what's your relationship with Vil? This is Vil. Of all the guys in my synchronised swimming team... <laughs> <laughs> ..he's the one I like the best. So there we have it. David's team, where will you begin? Um, OK, I'm just making a detailed note of Lee's. <laughs> so, Stephen, he was your teacher. He was my teacher, yeah. And why were you initially expelled? Uh, very low attendance. My attendance was like, I don't know, 30% in school. 30%? Yeah. All right. And so now that's... you're a millionaire. What a message that is sending out <laughs> to children. Yeah. So... How old were you, Stephen, when you were expelled? Uh, 16. 16. Who expelled you? Was it, was it Vil? Uh, no, it was uh, another teacher. Um, who I probably shouldn't name. I'll call him Mr. T. <laughs> Mr. T expelled me, right. and then um, I went to Ville, and he unexpelled me and said, you're not expelled because you're making the school money. How were you making the school money? Didn't kind of deals, various deals that I'd done. <laughs> 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 what, what, sort of, what sort of deal? So... Uh, I'd negotiated the deal for the vending machine in the school. Yeah. The, the school got the vending machine for free and got revenue from it. Uh, and the school had basically given me um, a big, like, notice board wall, and yeah. I used it to organise events and parties and trips and stuff like that. All right, and why can Vil overrule Mr T? Mr T was head of um, Key Stage 4, and Vil was head of Key Stage 5. He was more senior in the school. Vil is this chap's Christian name, but you wouldn't... It wasn't one of those trendy schools, was it, where you call your teachers by their Christian names? Yeah, I actually... I, I never never really knew his first name. I called him, um, Mr Sprinkle. Mr Sprinkle? <laughs> <laughs> it happens to all men with age. I mean, it's nothing to, uh, <laughs> It's nothing to highlight on national television. <laughs> There's yeah. loads of people called Mr Sprinkle. Yeah. In fact, hundreds of thousands. <laughs> 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 Why did you call him Mr Sprinkle? Uh, that was... that's his name. His name is Vil Sprinkle. <laughs> <laughs> I assume there are people called Sprinkle, but it's not a very common surname. So that's right. our starting point. Before we even get into the vending machine, expelled, unexpelled, we just have to look into the plausibility of the name Vil Sprinkle. <laughs> Why I've never you... met anybody yeah. called Vil before. Well, I think Vil might be the shortening of the German form of William. That was my So you guess. think he might be German? He might be German, or he might have had Sprinkle a German... Sprinkle isn't a German name. But it could be Sprinkle E-L, couldn't it? Sprinkle? <laughs> <laughs> maybe... Maybe Herr Sprinkle teaches German. <laughs> I've got one more question. Oh, go on. But then. I think being expelled from a school is quite a big deal. Mm. I don't think a head of a key stage alone would be able to make that yes. decision. Surely an expulsion is a decision that the head of the school, the head teacher, would have to be involved in. And so the idea that one non head teacher can make the call and one other non head teacher can overrule it appears to be an odd way of structuring a school administration. <laughs> would you not agree with that, Stephen? No. <laughs> 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 what about 